Have you ever wondered what MCPs are and what they're actually used for? In today's video, we're diving into the world of model context protocols, what they are, how they work, and why they're becoming such a big deal in the world of AI. Whether you're a tech enthusiast or just curious about how AI connects to your favorite apps and tools, this video will break it all down in simple terms. Let's get started. MCP stands for Model Context Protocol. In easy terms, MCP is like a universal translator or remote control that lets an AI assistant like ChatGPT or Claude talk to different software tools and apps in a common language instead of needing a separate translator for each tool. MCP uses a client-server architecture to connect AI models to external tools and data sources in a standard way. Here's how each part works. The MCP client is a component embedded within an AI application, such as a chatbot, IDE assistant, or automation agent. Its main job is to manage the connection to one or more MCP servers. It sends structured requests like list available tools or fetch this data to the MCP server and receives structured responses the client translates the AI model's needs, for example, a function call or data request into MCP protocol messages, and then relays the server's response back to the AI model or application. In short, the MCP client acts as the AI's messenger, handling communication with external systems via the MCP protocol. The MCP server as an external program or service that exposes specialized capabilities such as tools, data, or prompts through the MCP protocol. It wraps around data sources, APIs, or utilities like databases, file systems, CRMs, or cloud services, making them accessible in a standardized way. Servers define and advertise their available capabilities called primitives. Tools, functions that AI can call, for example, get weather, fetch GitHub issues, fetch GitHub PRs, then resources. There, those are data sources the AI can query, for example, a database or file storage. Then there is the prompts. Those are predefined templates for generating or formatting responses. The server receives requests from the client, executes the necessary action like fetching data or running a function, and returns the result in a structured format. In summary, the MCP server is the toolbox that provides access to external data and functions for the AI via a standardized interface. So in terms of comparison, APIs are like having a different key for every door. Each service or tool needs its own unique integration, and you must keep track of how each one works. MCPs, on the other hand, is like a universal remote or USB-C port for AI. One connection lets AI interact with many tools and services in a consistent, flexible way with real-time updates and built-in instructions. That's a wrap for part one of our deep dive into MCPs. Today, we explored what MCPs are, how they work, and why they're so important for connecting AI to the tools and data we use every day. But we're just getting started. In part two, we will get hands-on and show you how to actually build your own MCP server and connect it to an AI agent. If you want to see how all these concepts come together in practice, please leave me a comment down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell button so you become the first to know when part two drops.